video cast number 35, Being Prepared. This is a follow-up to last week's Scoutmaster Dave video cast on what to do when things don't go right and how to prepare for it. Many of the items I have for preparation simply lie in wait when, for when I need them. I keep a lot of things both in my pack and in my car. These are just there and don't come out. As you can see, I have my boots tucked away in the back seat. Once I look into the center compartment area, you can see I have my trusty flashlight. And in there also, I always keep a pen. In the bottom of the center compartment, you can see I have a rag for cleaning stuff off as I need it. Some snow gloves. Trail mix. Some trail bars and a waterproof set of matches. In the glove compartment area, I keep a personal first aid kit, my BSA medical form, some more trail mix bars, another pen, and some blank blue cards, which always come in handy. In the trunk, I keep a fleece blanket, and there's also a hidden compartment underneath, so it's always with me where I keep myself an extra hat, a couple extra t-shirts, another set of gloves, some paper towels, which always come in handy. And all of these things stay within the trunk area. Additionally, I keep a fleece blanket and some jumper cables in the back. These items don't take a ton of space. And if there's any problem with it, it can be you forget that they're there. So this is a nice little reminder. Taking a look at my pack, I keep a set of rain gear for myself. These generally stay in my pack from trip to trip. The good thing about this set is in cold weather, I can pull it out and stick it on a boy as an extra layer if needed or even for myself. Also in the pack, I keep some trail food, a rain poncho. This is just one of those dollar store items. Use it once and toss it. I keep a small roll of Gorilla Tape, a lighter, some extra batteries, some tissues. I also stick more troop-related items all over the troop gear bags. These include extra garbage bags and lantern mantles. There's nothing worse than setting up a lantern only to find that the mantles are broken. I keep extras taped in every lantern case and an extra one in the first aid kit. Over the years, I've extended this to the adult patrol box where I keep a baggie with instant coffee, tea bags, sugar, and Splenda, along with some soy sauce packets. Plus, another plastic bag with a few plastic forks, spoons, and knives. It's impossible to plan for every contingency, and realistically, you don't want to do too much for the boys. There's something to be said for having them do without. Figuring out how to repurpose what they have for something that they forgot. As Baden-Powell said, scouting is a game with a purpose. Having the boys come up with a creative solution to their problem is all part of the fun. But this is what works for us. Take what you like, leave the rest. And as we say in Woodbedge, feedback is a gift. Leave yours below in the comments in the hope we can all learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was Being Prepared.